Hi, in this video I will show you how to set up a new Unity project to make your very own VR app for the Oculus Quest. When you follow along with this tutorial, you will be able to make this yourself. First of all, there are two ways of connecting your Quest to your computer. You can use the USB-C charging cable that is delivered with your Quest, or you can buy an Oculus Link cable. If you don't have USB-C port in your computer, like I do, you will need a USB-C to USB-A converter. The converter is not very expensive. There are some differences with the standard charging cable and the link cable. The link cable costs about $80 while you get the charging cable for free. With the link cable you can test your Unity app very fast and even live from your PC. This way you can develop and test your apps much faster. With the standard USB-C cable you have to push your app to your request and then test it. Pushing and deploying an app takes longer this way. This is not live testing, because you have to push and install the app on your Quest. With the link cable you can play VR games that are on your PC, like from the Steam VR library. This is not possible with the charging cable. With both cables you can push non-star apps to the Quest, for example from SideQuest. Before you can actually develop for Oculus Quest and Oculus in general, you need to register as developer and activate developer mode on your device. You can register on the following link. Click on Login. Login with Facebook if the option pops up, or sign up with an email address. Use the same account you used to set up your Oculus Quest for first use. Now you will be redirected to the Create New Organization page. Pick a name and click on I understand. Read the terms of service if you want to, and accept. This is all that has to be done here. Now we are going to put the Quest in developer mode. For the next step you will need to install and log into the Oculus app on your mobile device which you should have done already. When the app is opened tap on settings and then tap on the Oculus Quest. Make sure it is turned on. Tap on more settings, tap on developer mode and turn on the switch. Now the Quest is ready to be connected to your computer and Unity. If you already have Unity installed skip ahead to the next section. Installing Unity is simple and free. To start using Unity, you will need to install the Unity Hub. Go to the following link. Choose Personal and click on Start. Then click on Agree and Download. When the download has happened, open the file. Choose your preferred location and click on Install. Here you have to create a Unity ID or use your Unity ID if you already have one, like I do. Meanwhile Unity will start downloading. Create a new user or login with your preferred option. You can sign in with a Google account or a Facebook account as well. Now you can fill in a name for your very first project. As we want a blank project, select Empty 3D. When the download is complete, launch Unity. Now the Unity Hub will open and show you all your projects. Before clicking on your project, go to Installs. First of all, it is very important that you have Unity 2019.3 or above to use the XR Toolkit. The second thing to check is whether you see the Android icon at the bottom of the install. Since the Oculus Quest is an Android device, we need to install this module. If you don't have the Android module added, click the dots of the install and click Add Modules. Check the Android build support and hit Done. When you install a new version of Unity, you will be asked to add modules right away. So check the Android module. Go back to Projects. Click on New to create a new project and Unity will pick the most recent installed version. For this step you can open an existing project as well. Select 3D, fill in a project name and choose the destination where to save the project. The 3D template is perfect for this test. Using the universal render pipeline is also a good option to pick, but building and pushing the app for testing will take a lot longer compared to just using the 3D format. Unity will now build your project. This can take a while. First of all, my favorite layout in Unity is tall. I just drag the game view under my scene. As you can see. Now we will start adding the XR toolkit and make sure the Quest is connected to the computer and Unity. Again double check if your Oculus Quest is turned on and is connected to your computer. Let's begin with installing the XR interaction package. 
go to Window and then click on Package Manager. Wait a bit for all the packages to load. Click on Advanced and show Preview Packages. Scroll all the way down and select the XR Interaction tool. Click Install. In this window we will install the XR Plugin Management plugin as well. At the bottom of the package list, click on XR Management and hit Install. Now we are going to install the Oculus XR plugin for our Oculus Quest. Go to Edit, Project Settings, XR Plugin Management. Here you see the Oculus XR plugin. Click to install it. Just wait a bit. And click on the Android icon for Android settings. Click on the plus sign and add the Oculus loader. We are almost there. As you can see, we don't have much in the Unity scene yet. Delete the main camera. Let's add something. Right click, 3D object and select plane. This is the floor of our current project. We need to add XR components as well to make it work with the quest. Right click, XR, room scale XR rig. You can pick stationary as well, but mostly you will want the 6 degrees of freedom that the room scale XR offers. The room scale XR rig gives us a main camera and adds two controllers. That's all we have to do here. Now let's build a scene to our Oculus Quest. Go to File, Build Settings, click on Android, and click Switch Platform. This can take a bit of time. Go to Run Device and select your Oculus Quest. Hit refresh if the quest doesn't show up. Again, make sure that the quest is connected and is turned on. Build and run. Pick a location to save the APK file on your computer. Since this is the first time you push this app to your quest, this might take a lot of time to build. Check your quest again if there are no pop-ups to allow external sources. If so, allow this. Congratulations! You have now built and pushed your very first VR app to your Oculus Quest. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more VR development videos, like slicing objects in VR.